What's up, everybody? Um, I was just making this um, firework casing, and I thought I showed you guys how I do it. So I think it's pretty cool method that I thought of. It's just a cardboard box and some drumsticks, and then you put the glue in there. And when you roll it, it rolls very tight together. See, I drilled two holes on the side. And it's really cheap. I didn't pay anything for this. Well, except for the dowel. I had drumsticks. You just need a cardboard box and whatever paper you're rolling. And then I'm going to see if I can do it with one hand. But you just put the glue on. That. And you can roll it from the side over here. But it doesn't always like turn, so sometimes you have to go like this and push it through, and that seems to work fine. So it's really nice, it rolls very tight casings, and I'm making them one eighth of an inch thick, so I just cut the size that I know works. And then I also have this to help it feed it through tight right here, because before it was just hanging loose through this slit. I cut a slit right there. But this helps it stay tight as it's going through. So yeah, you just roll it. And yeah, I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. Okay, so um, I just, I'm at the end here, so I'll show you. I have some trash I just put in there because I'm moving my whole uh, setup. But you just finish it off by rolling it through that and the excess glue just gets on this drumstick that's okay and you kind of I kind of hold it there where the end of it meets and then just roll it through so I turn this it works good at the beginning but then as it starts to get tighter it kind of fail it doesn't really work you can see it rolls it really nice just let it go through one more time. Give it a few more turns. Just like that. And then um, I'm gonna wipe it off and I'll cut the edges and then I'll show you what it looks like after it's all done. Okay, so I just finished it and cut it. And um, I realized I forgot to put the label on the inside, but that's okay. Um, as you can see, it's pretty tight, but tightly wrapped. This one, um, this one I did a little bit better. You can see there's no like spaces. This one has a little bit of spaces. But um, besides that, I mean, it still works good. And it's um, let's see if I just show you. I'll try to hold it. Um, measurements I'm using. So it's exactly a sixteenth of an inch thick, pretty exact, and then it's a nine sixteenths interior diameter, Let's see if I can get it, yeah, so pretty good, and then this one's cut to a one half inch size, so it's good for making fireworks, so yeah. This is my, this is the design. Took the drumsticks out, but. Okay, guys, so I just finished the other casing, and this one looks much better. You can see, this is how most of them turns out. Um, it almost looks like a factory made it. You can see, there's like no spaces there. And, look at the measurements. Basically, exactly uh, one sixteenth of an inch, and I cut it to be one and a half inches right there. There's some leftover glue on the outside, uh, but I'm gonna wipe that off later. So, yeah, thank you for watching, and hopefully, you guys can make some good casings too. See ya.